nung Alphabet of Lines. Hey yo, what's up guys? Max here and welcome back to another video. So today, it's all about alphabet of lines. So, ano nga bang alphabet of lines? Okay, so technical drawing has its own language and that is why we use alphabet of lines to make the blueprint reader understand what is these lines all about. I don't need to be very technical with this, so kailangan natin shortcut ko na lang sa para more easy to be understood because you have to pwede mo naman sila ma-research or makita sa mga books but I'll make this one easier for you to understand and to use okay, so this first one is only optional dahil hindi naman lahat ay ginagamit itong I mean as their alphabet of line so so, ito ay ang construction line. So, as you may know, construction line is an outline of what you are about to draw. So, construction line is same as guidelines. So, mga light lines lang sila. Or thin lines. Okay, so moving on to the visible or object line. Siyempre, is very self-explanatory because sa nga, sa pangalan pa lang. Visible or, or object line. So, it is the representation or the actual edge of your object. Meaning, yung outline mo. Kaya nga, visible or object. So, it is the second heaviest or, or strongest line. Parang ganun. In all of alphabet of lines, the darkest one is your borderline. So, the second one is this. It's your visible line. Okay, so, next, kung may visible line, hindi mawawala ang hidden line. So, hidden lines, ito ang line na na that is behind another object. So, kumbaga, for example, we have a wall right here. So, may, ano siya, may slab or some flat surface sa likod. So, you put a hidden line in this, in the front part of your drawing. Para may indicate na may overhang or wall man dyan sa likod ng surface na yan. And also, guys, hidden lines, yung dimension nila kapag ginawa mo sila is minimum of 3 millimeters to 4 millimeters. And the spacing will be minimum of 1 millimeter to maximum of 2 millimeters. So, short dashes lang yan. Okay. So, this next one has a identical or twin, better should I say, because it is the center line and your symmetry line. Of course, pangalan lang pareho na. Center and symmetry. Siyempre, ano bang symmet symmetrical at center? Diba? Ganito. I did a lot of research for this because symmetry line and center line is pretty different. I mean, in some parts because okay, so it's just nila pareho lang na long and small dash and another long dash. Pero sa symmetry line, meron siyang dalawang thick but short line at both ends. Pero yung center line wala. And I use center lines to indicate a cylinder shaped object. Especially for two bar mga bars. Parang ganun. So ang symmetry line is optional lang. Ito siya guys. Because not all maybe understand what is the purpose of this. Or kasi parang same lang naman sila ng center line. Ang symmetry line sa na search or what I have researched. They use symmetry lines kung half lang at uh, Part. So it portrays partial view of symmetrical part. Parts are drawn. So parang confusing. Pero they have a picture of it on how you are supposed to use it. So I'm just gonna show you guys. Come on again. So para different talaga sila. So next is your phantom lines. Okay guys. So it could be sometimes look alike hidden lines but if i were you i'm just gonna use a long long line then two short dashes then another long line so para indicate mo na eh, ito ay ang phantom line ang phantom lines is what we use in alternating or moving objects especially sa mga sliding doors 
um, swing doors, mga windows na hopper, awning, basta moving objects. Especially kung ano kaya yung pwede. Basta sa mga moving objects. <laughs> so, best example na lang is yung swing door and your sliding door. This line has another identical part twin. Why can't you say this? So, it is the cutting plane line. And the other one is optional. So, ang optional niya is yung viewing plane line. But, pero viewing plane line has parang different na ano, na purpose to. So, we use cutting plane lines para ma... For example, sa section. Section plan. So, there are places or areas that you want to show your clients or your teacher. So, depends on, on you on how to cut it. So, you can do a zigzag move or... Kasi pwede naman straight eh. So, some, I know, they use different directions. For example, gusto mo mapakita yung living area, then yung bedroom, then next is yung toilet and bathroom. So, you can do different directions kung anong gusto mo na maging pathway ng iyong cutting plane line. Ang itsura ng cutting plane line naman is same naman as sa phantom lines na long but too short dots. But, yung cutting plane line have a directional arrow. Okay, so, something like this. Kunwari, ito yung phantom lines mo. And, it has a pointing line right there and some arrows. So, in top of these two arrows, for example, you have a letter A, two A's, or it could be two B. So, meaning, section A, A yan, or section B, B. So, ganyan yung cutting plane. So, next is your viewing plane. Yung viewing plane, so, I chose the hidden line design dashes. Para may iba rin siya. Of course, syempre, it still has a pointing to another view. Because viewing plane line is used to indicate direction of sight. So, meaning, yun know, nga, direction of sight kung saan ka dapat nakatingin. So, we only use that in different, sort of different plans. So, I'm gonna show you. Because, because in some, especially sa mga floor plans, parang wala naman ako nakikitang viewing plane line. I could only see a cutting plane line. So, minute. Okay, next, break lines. So, ang break lines hindi to para sa mga relationship. Break lines has two types ba to? Two types. So, it is the short break line and the long break line. So, what is the difference? What I mean is, the difference of short break line sa long break line is the short break line is used in cylinder shape objects. Basically, mga rod, tubes, and bars. So, when you cut it, it's like a wavy shape. I use freehand in doing those. And the long break line, I use it in some sort of stairs na direction or sometimes it could be a zigzag. Stairs or parang break design. Parang ganun. Yung sa castle. So, that is how I do. So, by the way, sharp break line should be thick line. And the long break line should be a thin line. Okay, so natapos na natin yung mga break lines. So, hindi mawawala yung section lines. Because once you have break something or cut it, so, for example, like this. I, so, dahil cylinder shape siya, first, center line. Then, when you draw a break line, so it's going to be your short break line in thick. Then, boom. And this part, would, will be shaded as your section line. So, ano ba ang section line? So, ito ay papakita ng exposed or cut surface. So, this part will be drawn as a 45 degree angle lines na hatches. Na pag ano, 45 degrees. Dahil nakat siya daw. That, so, meaning, nun ay nakat. Yung object. Okay. So, next, the easiest part. We're going to. Kailangan mo ba explain si or what? So, okay. So, maybe some of you doesn't still know this, but okay. Dimension lines. 
still example ko pa rin ganito. Dimension 9 is this. Yung horizontal part. And your extension line will be right here. Pahaba rin yan. Pero, syempre hindi naman magawa ko. So, this will be your extension line. Extension line always overlaps on your on your dimension lines. So, sometimes dimension lines could be be like this. So, meaning, yung notes mo nasa gitna. Or it could be on the top of your dimension line. So, this is extension line. By the way, guys, when using or when making extension line, do not ever connect it on your object or visible line because mag some people will misunderstood that thing because sometimes they will think that this is it is connected to your visible line so magpa so masalan nila na tala na sa plano ang extension mo always give a 0.2 or 0.1 millimeter space from your visible or object line to your extension line. Okay, next. This one is very optional because before when I did this on my plate, sabi ng teacher ko, hindi daw ito part ng alphabetic line. Leader line. Ang leader line naman ay ang is the line that points at your object. For example, this kung ganito. For example, ganito ang plano mo. So, you put a line right here that um, points to my, onto this, for example, to the hat. So, the label of this will be hat. Then, the one that is pointing is going to be your leader. Ang leader, guys, hindi yan yung leader mo. But yung leader yan, nagtuturo to indicate part of an object and it will have a notes. Or the name. Okay, so very basic lang. So this next two is not really applicable sa mga draft or architecture or whatsoever. Pero it, this one is only applicable because I've only seen this in our book from our school. So this is the chain line and stitch line. Moving on to the last part, of course, this one. I natakel mo na since maybe preschool ka pa until you'll be a professional. So ano ba yun? No other than borderline. So sabi ko na ano yun Borderline is the heaviest line weight on your paper. Ay by the way, additional because in my notebook that I my idea in the notebook I put a Tito lines because I remember my teacher told us this about Tito lines yung Tito lines daw yung two small dash na magkadikit then another space two dash two dash two dash two continuous yan so yung purpose niya is parang nakalimutan ko na kasi basta I'll show you a video of it pero nakalimutan ko kasi yung name and that is it for, I guess, Max Alphabet of Lines because I only did this so some of, some here are not really, I mean, applied or in Alphabet of Lines because parang hindi mo naman kasi mahanap sa internet or some books yung write Alphabet of Lines. So I arranged my own. So because I use your own understanding na naman. And syempre, organize mo kung hindi sila maging same faces ng mga lines. So, it won't be confusing on your plans. So, I hope guys you understand something <laughs> sa mga nasabi ko doon. I hope na naintindihan nyo how I deliver those. So, I hope maging useful yung video na to para sa inyo. Especially when doing your plans. Because blueprint reading is really important. Especially when if you are going to work. Or OJT, so importante na ma master mo na mga very basic stuff. 
so that si marami pang I mean difficult things that you will learn on the industry so ito mga basic lang to. so don't stress out especially when working on your tricks guys so so once again this has been Joshua Magalanes or or Mags but and I hope to see you soon guys peace ito ay tinatawag natin na construction line Wait, parang hindi clear ang camera.